with a startup like this, with your experience in business, uh, what, what attracts you to a startup like this? And when they come to you as a presentation, what do you look for in the business model that makes you want to get involved? Well, the number one thing always is, is there a need for what uh, the service or the product, in this case the service. Uh, I'm on the board of some large organizations, but they once started out quite small, <laughs> and they satisfied a need. Sure. And Levanto is satisfying a need for, as we like to say, financial wellness, which it's probably always been there, but it's a pretty serious issue now for folks uh, as the economy's been tough, layoffs, uh, uh, early retirements, maybe reduced retirements, and companies who are trying to figure out how to uh, maintain uh, employees for the long run and not have a lot of turnover and so forth. So all those suggested to me there's a pretty good need, and we've got a pretty good guy at the top in uh, Paul Claudier, who's a very entrepreneurial, hardworking, extremely ethical guy, and I've known him for probably 20 years. So we got the need, we got the leadership. So I said, you know, that might be worth uh, trying to help out. Well, you know, one of the most serious problems uh, an individual or a family can face is one where they're, they're starting to sink financially and they don't know how to get out from under it. A lot of them have never had a chance to even learn how to budget. Uh, many of them have never faced the serious financial situation they face today. And so, uh, Levanto's there with a very simple approach, very structured, comes with a coach to help the individual. And the, uh, when they've been successful, which is almost in every case, what they've been able to do is literally lift that burden off the uh, individual or the family so that they can see a way clear in spite of maybe a very reduced uh, financial situation. Um, and so that's, that's a terrific thing. And then that sets those folks up for life and how to cope with once you know how to budget, you know how much you can spend, you gotta pay your bills on time, you start taking a better look at credit card fees, etc., rates of interest and so forth, you find that you can manage regardless of the situation you find yourself in, and then you start to, as I say, that eliminates that burden for you and you start to breathe again. Absolutely. Talk about individuals, uh, but in working with some of the companies that you work with, do you see a need in a bigger scope where corporations or companies could utilize Levanto services, maybe for their employees? Or I think so, yes, absolutely. And now it's a brand new area for everybody, including Levanto. But again, it's kind of like you know, 20, 30 years ago when healthcare was a big issue and companies stepped up to help their employees. It became a recruiting tool, it became a retention tool. It helped the employees to afford better health care than they could have afforded on their own. So that was pretty good. Well, all of a sudden, we've got the equivalent of health care and financial wellness issues. And so companies can have the same motivations. You know, they want to help their employees. They want to be able to recruit good employees. They want to be able to keep those employees. And of course, if the employees are not burdened by serious financial worries, they think they've got that house in order, then they're going to be more productive and perhaps stay longer. So I think it's pretty good payback for companies, but we're just beginning to plow that field.